five times in life, <laughs> there's this kind of push um, for us to get involved in a relationship. It, it seems like, you know, everybody just from everywhere. Our, our parents were like, hey, when are you going to get married and have kids? You know, we look on TV and everything is about relationships. It doesn't matter what show you watch. Eventually, the two main characters are going to get together and ruin everything. So, you know, that obviously raises up a question. Should I stay single or should I get married? And there really is no easy answer. So let's just look at a few things. First off, marriage isn't for everyone. That's just a fact of life. Uh, some people like the idea of marriage, but they don't actually want to be married. Um, unfortunately, we kind of let our hearts do the thinking a lot of times, and we don't figure out that we never actually wanted to be married until after we're already married. So that's something worth thinking about. Is marriage really for you? Um, if, if you're a Christian, then I'd like to bring up two points. Paul said, you know, hey, I wish everyone could be single like I am. Um, I don't have things to worry about like married people do. And, you know, he does have a point. When you're married, you have certain loyalties and stuff that, that that's what kind of attack, attracts your attention. And then Jesus said that um, for some people, you know, they're called to a single life, and that's that's okay. So, I mean, there is, definitely is no biblical reason to have to get married. You don't have to get married. And so then getting married because you are um, got other people who are nagging you about getting married really isn't a, a good reason for getting married either. Um Marriage just isn't for everyone. So th there are pros and cons to being single and getting married. It doesn't matter what you do. There's going to be pros and cons. The question is, which pros are you more in interested in? That's that's kind of that's kind of the main point there. If you're single, you get to li live freer. But if you're married, you get to live more bound. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you can't just spend money. You can't just do whatever you want. You can't just live however you want. There's another person that gets to say so in decisions. So, I mean, it is a switch off. Um, now, obviously, there's a richness in marriage uh, in, you know, having someone who will be there for you and being there for someone. Um, we as people love to be loved and love to give love, and it's just marriage offers that. Um, another big important point is if you're a Christian, um, you know, sex is only uh, for married people. So do you want to do you want to be able to have sex or do you not want to be able to have sex? Now that's that's may seem like oh well that's a shallow reason for getting married, but it's kind of a big point. Um, and Paul, for instance, said, hey, if you guys can't control your lusts, just go ahead and get married. There's there's nothing wrong in that. Um, so that's you know worth mentioning. Um, <clears throat> also keep in mind all these things with getting married or deciding to stay single. There really is no hurry. Um, there's nothing wrong with it either way, whatever you decide to do, married or, or stay single. It, it, but either way, there's no hurry. It's not like you have to rush and, oh, I have to get married before I'm 30. Eh, maybe. Maybe not. It doesn't matter. I mean, it, it's not – life isn't meant to be lived in such a rush. It's, life is full of a series of decisions, and you have to act in such a way not to always looking forward to the future, always looking forward to something new, something different, always, you know – not happy with where you are. That's not how life is meant to be lived. Um, but rather just enjoy this moment, live in this moment. And, you know, it, if you decide to get married, hey, you decide to get married. Like, it doesn't need to be something that I decided when I was nine I was going to get married by 18, and it's it's not a schedule, it's not a competition. You just, you know, slow down. Um, but a partner doesn't make you any more worthy. It doesn't make life any more worth living or whatever. It's just preferences you know it's not like if you get married you're going to be more important of a person or it's going to meet some longing deep down in your heart or some nonsense like that it's not like that and marriage is filled with um with, with ups and downs just like staying single i mean sometimes things are romanticized more than they actually are oh being single is the greatest thing in the world well for some people it is oh being married is the greatest thing in the world for some people it is so the real question is should you stay single. Are you someone who's always falling in love? <laughs> or are you someone who's kind of more of a loner and, and you're okay with just being alone? Um, so these are things worth thinking about, um, especially for such a big decision like getting married.